Okay, we are going to meditate first. Please find a comfortable posture. Keep your back straight as much as you can. Gently close your eyes. Take few deep, long breaths and let go and relax your whole body. Please do it few times. Experience relaxation and peace. Feel harmony with your body. Feel close to yourself. Now send your loving thoughts towards yourself. Thinking, I am well. I am happy. I am peaceful. Remember, the words are powerful. In the beginning, we are using these three words to make our intention. Then you can live by that intention, not to harm, not to hurt yourself every day. When you come to the temple, sit on the cushion, we call practicing meditation or training your mind, how to live in the world, in the society, difficult, challenging place, we are learning how to take care of ourselves. Instead of escaping from the difficulties, problems from the world, which is not realistic, therefore this training helps you to find the middle ground, find peace, joy within you. I am well. I am happy, I am peaceful. May I be free of anger, free of attachment, free of confusion, free of pride.
May I be safe. May I be free of the problems that arise from such distraction of my mind. May I recognize and cultivate my potential of loving kindness, compassion, wisdom, patience, and all other good qualities. May these good qualities grow for my well-being and the well-being of others. May my fear, worries and sorrows fall away. May I find the joy of peace and love in my heart. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be content. Let me be free of greed. hatred and delusion. Let me be generously giving, understanding and insightfully clear. I am free. I am free. I am free. I am well. I am happy. I am peaceful. Now send your loving thoughts towards your family. May all of my family members be well, be happy, be peaceful. Holidays are almost here. We all have to sit with our family members, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year. Some situation you don't want to do this because you have some challenges and difficulties with some of your family members. Maybe you don't like them. They did lots of negative things. They were rude to you. As a person who try to practice loving kindness, understand about self, is it possible for you to change your perspective about them? How about understanding they all are, we all are human beings? We are imperfect. That is the nature of the human beings. People have lots of ignorance. Therefore, I am going to forgive them. Forgiveness is completely letting go without reservations. 
May all of my family members be well, be happy, be peaceful. If they did something wrong to you, think to yourself, that is not my responsibility. Whatever they did, they are responsible for their actions, their karmic journey. Therefore, I am not getting into their karma. I am not responsible for their actions. I am responsible for my own actions. Therefore, in this moment, I am thinking of them lovingly, kindly and compassionately instead of anger or disappointments. Now send your loving thoughts towards whole world. May all living beings be well, be happy, be peaceful. Now slowly turn your attention to your breath. Every breath you take in, you take out, is taken mindfully. Focus on your natural, ordinary breaths. If you are distracted by a thought, 
or a feeling or a sensation bring your attention back back to the breath or present moment Mind wanders, that is the nature of the mind. Be a silent observer, observing what is coming and what is going without reacting to them. During the holidays, many of us create a picture, perfect image, filled with expectations. Rarely do these mind-made fantasies come true, yet we are clinging to all ideas that blind us to the beauty of the present moment. When we let go of perfection 
and stay in the present moment, we have the opportunity to see love everywhere. Breathe in deeply and release expectations. Being in the present moment, we find good fortune, humor, and connections with our loved ones, and an increased capacity to manage difficulties. Together, let's breathe in kindness and love and breathe out worry and attachment. Even when things fall apart, There is so much to see and feel. It is a wonderful opportunity for growth. Breathe in and observe the normal reactive spiral of our minds without judgment. Noticing and focusing on our breath is a powerful way of de-escalating Holiday stress, let's breathe in again. Notice whatever is going on in your body and in your mind and come back to your breath. If you feel stressed or relaxed, just let it go and come back to the breath. Now picture the coming holidays. Take a moment to notice what comes up in your mind when you imagine the holidays and all the dynamics that arise. How does your body feel? Is it tight or restless? Do you feel tired or energized? Just notice and let it go. What emotion arise? Maybe it is a mixture of joy and stress, dread and excitement. Just notice this and let it go. Come back to your breath.
Right now there is nothing to do, no person to be, nowhere to go. Now in this moment sitting and breathing is all there is. Breathe in, breathe out. Allowing the holidays to happen, taking good care of yourself, practicing mindfulness and kindness to yourself, and others and keep coming back to your breath. Enjoy it. Find the love and beauty. Embrace new tradition. Open your heart. Do what needs to be done and let the rest go. Now observe your mind, observe your body, your body is relaxed, your mind is calm, tranquil and peaceful. Make a strong determination to practice meditation every day, regularly, with diligence and patience. Understand how important this meditation practice. Keep yourself well, happy, peaceful and balanced. May peace be with you. May you be well. May you be happy. May you be peaceful. Thank you very much. Please open your eyes. Okay, now we are going to do our chanting. <clears throat> okay, let's start. Namo tasse bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhasse Namo tasse bhagavato Arehato Samma Sambuddhasse Namo Tasse Bhagavato Arehato Samma Sambuddhasse Buddhang Saranang Gachami Dhammang saranang gacchami Sangang saranang gacchami Dutiyampi buddhang saranang gacchami Dutiyampi dhammang saranang gacchami Dutiyampi sangang saranang gacchami Tatiyampi buddhang saranang gacchami 
ததியம்பிதம்மங்கி ததியம்பிசங்கி அனிச்சாவத் சங்கார உப்பாதவயதம்மினோ உப்பஞ்சித்வாந்தி தேசமோசுக்கோ சந்த அவேராஹந்து சம்பேசாபஜந்து சம்பேசந்தாணிகாஹந்து சம்பேசந்த சுக்கியத்தானங்கமாதம்மாசெட்டாமனோமன பாசதிவாக்கோதிவாத்தோனுக்கோபங்கமாதம்ம மனோசெட்டாமனோமனோதி சாயவனி We believe My wish. Okay good morning everybody um so happy to see you all in this morning so there is a sanskrit word um 
like Buddha, Dharma, you know, those words Sanskrit, right? And so another Sanskrit word, especially yoga community, they are using this word lot, is called Japa. Japa. It means repetition. We are doing Japa, that means repetition. You are always repeating something. Now think about, Jason, how many years we were repeating those three words, well, happy and peaceful, right? <laughs> so many times, I don't know, millions of times. Last 21 years after I start this temple. Um, so that is Japa, keep repeating until we get it. And so when I was young, <clears throat> every Monday morning, my teacher, my guru, always giving us um, advices. That's a Monday morning right after we wake up, uh, like 5.30 in the morning, before we start morning meditation, he always giving guidelines and keep telling what we had to do, what we had to follow. And so I heard the same thing so many years. You know, when I was young, like a teenage monk, we exactly know what, what he's going to say Monday morning. Right? Same thing. Again and again and again and again. He's keep telling the same thing. We call the same song. <laughs> Every Monday, you know, we, we are not ready to hear it, but we don't have options. We have to go and sit one hour and listen to him. So, that time when I was listening to him, we know what he's going to say. It is so boring. And for, you know, you know, when we are young, the parents are saying the every day the same thing. We don't like it, right? You all have that experience. But I had the same experience. But however, when he say that, when we are young, I keep saying the same thing again and again and again and again and again until you get into your mind. Now I am 54 years old. Now I totally get it. What he did. He conditioned those things in our mind. It's not a brainwash. So he was keep telling the same advice, same loving kindness, same compassion. Why? It is the same. Even another thousand years, if I do loving kindness meditation, I do the same words. So I know it is boring, but there is no options. There is no option. Only one option. One loving kindness, one compassion. There is no two compassions. Right? So, why I am using that experience? But what I am going to say today, I think last many years, I said so many times, <laughs> same thing to you in this room. So now holiday is coming. How do you feel? Holidays? How do you feel honestly? Awkward. What else? Anxious. Anything? Okay, family. Okay, good. Anything? Excited. Okay, good. Maybe this holiday is maybe a little bit different. But, um, so that's a good side. If you are enjoying it, that's perfect. Please do. But what is the difficult side? What are the difficulties you have during the holiday time? Stress. Stress. What else? Okay. <laughs> Anything? Money. Money. Okay. Okay. What else? too much to do and so lots I know a, before the Christmas uh, before the holidays and after the holidays people always come and talk to me I have lots of meeting before and after holidays so I'm a kind, kind of counseling them for the preparing their mind for the holiday time so many people if as I said if you have good experiences about holidays so many years you experience this in your life and you can enjoy it. So what I'm trying to tell you today, you know, that during this holiday time, if you have stress and difficulties and family gathering, and, you know, you don't like to see some of your family members, but no choices, I know exactly what you are thinking. And so how you are going to handle and how you are going to be mindful. So that's why I said I'm going to jump or repeat the same thing this year also. Uh, 
So, as you said, you know, the money, somebody said money, right? You know, we have to spend time, you know, money for buying gift and giving things to people. It is so traditional thing. So before I come to this country, I didn't have any idea about Thanksgiving. I didn't have any idea. I kind of have an idea about Christmas, but it is not really big thing in our country. Why? It is 80% of the population is Buddhist. Some people are celebrating uh, Christmas, but we are not used to that custom. So anyway, after I come to this country, this is the time I feel holidays. Our New Year is uh, uh, April 14th in a Sri Lankan New Year Day. So last uh, 25 years, I never uh, celebrated Sri Lankan New Year being in Sri Lanka. That, can you believe 25 years, I didn't be in Sri Lanka in person to celebrate a New Year with my family. So therefore, I don't have that idea in my head now. It is totally gone, and now I'm so conditioned to your holidays here. <laughs> now I'm thinking Christmas light. And Christmas decoration, that's what I am conditioned now. So I asked monks, we had to put the Christmas tree up soon, <laughs> right, at the temple. So now, therefore, we had to change our perspective about how we are thinking. So, when you are thinking about your family time, holiday season, and as you said, it's so stress, and especially uh, family members, and challenging and difficult. Number one is giving gift. How do you feel about it? Giving gift. Giving things is a good thing. But after you give, some people appreciate, some people not. Some people like it, some people don't like it. So therefore, be careful this during the Christmas time when you are giving gift. If you want to give, please give without expecting. Can you do that? So, you want to hear the word thank you. If they, they don't say thank you to you, how you feel? You feel hurt. So, what I'm asking you today, just give. So then tell them, thank you so much for receiving my gift. Instead of waiting, thank you for them. That's how I do. Thank you so much giving opportunity for me to give you something. So then you don't have that expectation whether he or she likes it or not. That's not your job, you know, your responsibility. So I have so many um, stories and people shared with me. Recently, one lady shared the story with me. She gave a nice book to her mother. Mother, she's elderly woman, the daughter always going and cleaning the house. So when she go to clean in the house, mother's house, and mother said, my recycling is collected, and so <laughs> you have to take them out. Then anyway, this elderly woman, sometimes she put, you know, the important things, and so therefore always she showed them out, all the, you know, garbage or recycling. Two days ago, the book she gave to mother as a gift, it was in the recycling bin. She was calling me and crying and emotional. Bhante, I was so excited to give this gift to my mom. She accepted. I know her nature, but however, she asked me to clean the recycling bin. Maybe, you know, she thinks intentionally she asked her to go and check it. Then she saw her book is in the recycling bin. How do you feel about that kind of situation? Then she took the book and showed it to the mother and asked mom, why you are throwing this book? Then mother said, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. So now the lady, you know, my friend keep asking, Bhante, what I'm going to do? What you are going to do? That kind of situation during the Christmas during the holiday, after you give something to your mom or your brother or your sister, if they are rejecting your gift, 
How do you feel? What is your wisdom? More than I am, instead of I am sharing the wisdom, as a meditation practitioner who is coming to the temple and practice every day, how do you handle it? Let it go. Can you do that? Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. But no options. No options. We have to let it go. We have to let it go. So sometimes I, I experience, when I go to Sri Lanka, I do less now. My first few years, I always taking gifts for everybody. My family members, close family members, my friends. Why? They love to have something from uh, America. Because they are excited to have something from America. So when I go to Sri Lanka, first time having gift and giving, everybody looking at, you know, their faces are not really good. <laughs> Why? Most of things we have here made in China. <laughs> everybody understand what I'm talking about. I'm not against China, but most of things I'm buying here when I go to the stores made in China. Can you believe that? <laughs> made in China, always they read the labels. If they see made in China, they hate it. They don't like it. Then they ask me, do you live in China? <laughs> or do you live in America? So, but I know sometimes the, you know, the stuff we have from China here, and maybe we have quality stuff because of the country, the, what we are, you know, the, our request here. But most of things we have in our country is made in China, very cheap. Very cheap qualities. So now they get all this, they upset. So then finally I made the decision, giving material things to people, we cannot make them 100% happy. Always they find a hole. Always they find a complaint. So I was thinking, giving things is, you know, if I feel to give something, give it without expecting returns. You know, so you do your job. Otherwise, after you are spending lots of money, you have disappointment. And also, I am asking people, how about write gratitude notes? It is a beautiful thing. Yeah, a gratitude card. And tell them about all, you know, about the qualities. You know, write something good about your mom. Mom, thank you so much for raising me. Thanking, thank you so much for feeding me <laughs> when I was young. Thank you so much giving me a hug and kiss. And they love to hear those things instead of, you know, the material things. But if you are comfortable to give material things, please do. But make sure they are not 100% happy about it. And also when I was in Florida, one man like Eric Age came to me and after my class, and he said, Bhante, you are totally right. Every holiday time, I am so stressed out because of our family reunion. Our family gathering is so stressed out. Our aunts, uncles, brothers, everybody is coming, <laughs> sisters, and they are fighting and arguing, drinking a lot. <laughs> so I have a cousin. Every year she come to our Christmas gathering, our family event, with a paper. It is a balance sheet. I, I as you know, she's an accountant and doing a balance sheet the Christmas day. No, Bhante, this is not numbers, you know. She's balancing all the gifts. Ten years of giving gifts, she has a balance sheet. My brother gave me 2001, $50 gift to me. But I gave 75 My mother gave me 30 I gave 45 to her. So 10 years, she balanced all the gift, all the family members gave to her. And during the Christmas celebration in the family, she bring that list. Can you believe it? <laughs> she bring that list and tally it. Then make everybody sad, upset and mad. <laughs> then I said to this man, 
I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Then he said, Bhante, totally fine if you don't believe it, totally fine. How about I'm going to invite you to our Christmas party? I said, no, thank you. <laughs> I, because he keep trying to tell me the story. I said, finally, no, thank you. You know, I totally get it. I think you have the same experiences, right? Same experience. You know, other situation, somebody told me, you know, after she gave a gift to the mother, right in that moment, mother said, I don't like it. I don't like it. So, what I'm asking, when you are preparing a gift to somebody, prepare your mind for the both side. So, anyway, for example, I am going to give this gift to Julie. For example. If she likes it, I'm so happy about it. If she doesn't like it, still I'm happy about it. So, prepare your mind, whatever reaction the person does, I'm going to balance my mind. So I think this is a really good preparation and good practice for you. And also, now Christmas, these holidays are so materialistic now. People always, children always thinking Christmas means receiving items, receiving material things. That's your Christmas the way you remember? When you are young? Only gifts? What, what was this? Maybe 60, 70 years ago. How was the Christmas? It is different now? or Right. Yeah. Okay. So, there is another beautiful story. I think I really like this story. I read somewhere. <clears throat> One rich father... During the holiday time, during the Christmas, he was thinking, I want to wrap gifts to everybody. So every day he is doing shopping and collected items. Then one day he bought very expensive gold wrapping for the gift wrapping. So he left in the room. One day when he was returning home after work, three or four years old daughter cutting these gold wraps and kind of wasting them. Then father was so angry and looking at her and yell and scream at her. What are you doing? These are very expensive paper. This is for Christmas gifts. Why are you destroying them? Then the little girl gave a big smile. Daddy, I am making a Christmas gift for you. That's what I am doing. Then father said, okay, whatever. He was mad and he was walking away. Christmas morning, she woke up early morning, she was so excited, she's coming down and said, Merry Christmas, Mom and Dad. There was a two boxes, one for the father. Father was so happy and excited, even he yelled at this little girl the other day. She was so thoughtful and made a beautiful gift for the father. Father was so excited and opened the gift. It is an empty box. <laughs> it is an empty box. Then father was thinking, she's making a joke with me. Father was so angry Christmas morning because my daughter was so disrespectful to me. She doesn't know what is the gift mean and what father did yell at this girl Christmas day morning. Now she's crying and crying and crying and said, Daddy, I love you. I care about you. I don't have money to buy a gift. Therefore, I didn't sleep last night. What I did, I blew so many kisses into this box. That's my gift to you. You don't see it. You don't feel my kiss in there. That's what your daughter said. In that moment, father felt so sad. Story says, father kept this box side of his bed until he passed. Now think about it. So gift is our heart, not the material things. Therefore, please teach your children, your grandchildren, your family members, 
material things come and go but our connection heart to heart is very important during this christmas time during this holiday and also especially in our country's um, new year time sometimes we have family issues <laughs> always we are upset each other that is the time we are kind of cleansing our minds we all come to come back and apologize to each other and say sorry and our country is always we go and bow to our uh, adults like a parents and anybody you know older than me i had to bow i had to respect in the new year day so that's how we are making the connection so that's how we are keep the heart together so therefore what i'm asking please change yourself during this holiday season to make mind your mind better and one young man told me he was thinking because he was in the school and he doesn't have that much money however he he bought some gifts then he doesn't want to spend lots of money for the wraps and what he did he wrapped all the gifts from the newspapers i think it's a great idea that's how i felt how wonderful he used all the newspaper articles and to wrap the gifts mother was so mad mother was yell at him and said you don't know about our customs do you wrap gift from the newspapers during the christmas day morning mother yell at him that's how people are conditioned so you have any thoughts and ideas about you know this holiday season how you are going to handle holiday stress and remember to breathe right what else anything else so this is what i say you know you know make the comment about like or dislike i say thank you for the gift actually most of gift i receive i don't want it <laughs> be honest but i am so grateful for the giver because of me that person trying to give me something so i am appreciating that then i keep that gift but maybe i don't use it but my way if i see another person they need something like that definitely i give that gift to somebody else instead of saying if you like it you can say i really like it or say you know no need to make any comments you can say i'm so grateful your gift but it doesn't mean you are going to use it today or tomorrow or maybe maybe none so one time i can remember somebody gave me a gift sometime you know now think about people giving me little little things right some so many little things sometime i'm exhausted about those things <laughs> and though i have to keep them i have to organize i don't want to one day i am put in the auction those items somebody was so upset with me and came to me and said do you remember who gave this one to you i said no <laughs> i gave to you you know many years ago now you don't like it you are throwing it away he was so upset and you know you know rode in front of people so then i said did you give it to me like 8 years ago <laughs> then he said yes if you gave it to me that's mine i said that's mine that means i can do whatever i want so therefore keep it and walk away <laughs> and so the later he came back with the gift from the auction and here you go have it he gave it to me again i said thank you so much i said thank you so much but prepare for next year <laughs> then he came to me and said okay that is your game let's play the game so you are keep putting the auction i'm keep purchasing it i'm keep giving it to you then i said thank you so much i have value now for that gift this makes sense right so therefore after you give something to somebody let it go so then i can do whatever i want because after you give it to me it is mine 
That's how I feel about the gifts. Otherwise, always people feel hurt. And what Jim said, you know, thank you so much. You know, we have to say the truth. But sometimes certain truth is hurt. But if it is hurtful, no need to say it. But we know in some situation, this gift will be very helpful. You know, we can give to somebody. Now think about, for example, I get lots of winter hats. Everywhere where I go, I have like a 20 of them, winter hats. Now what I'm doing, I'm so grateful, I keep taking them. Why? I keep giving them away. That means somebody give it to me, I'm giving it back. That's totally fine. But giving is a good thing. What else? Uh-huh. And I think I'm going to help with this process and help me think about that moment. Mm-hmm. Really good. Mm-hmm. I'm giving somebody a gift, but I'm just going to start and match the physical energy. Mm-hmm. Right. So, separation from the gift. You know, I, I experienced something beautiful here. You know, I think they are wise now. When people giving me something now, some people say, Bhante, I'm giving this gift to you. You do whatever you want. I don't feel hurt. But I'm giving to you. So then they say, if you don't use it, you can give it to somebody else. How beautiful, right? So thinking like that. So after you give that gift, if you are just waiting and what, looking what he is doing, and so it's really depressing me. Some people always, you know, after they give me something, they always check on me. Bhante, did you use it? Did you wear it? <laughs> right? You know, I cannot wear the 25 hats. You know, so, and after people giving things, you know, later, after many years later, I cannot remember who gave it to me because I am not labeling them. Because I get so many things. And so, therefore, be careful. Give your heart. You know, for give a hug. I think more than the something material, I think it's very important to have a hug and caring and love. And that's what's important to people this during this holiday time. And also I know one family, they always go into the middle of the Chicago, the, you know, then they are giving homeless people. All the things they are giving to the homeless people. It's like a family event. They are not receiving any gift from the family member. They put all the money together and go and help homeless people. So therefore, I'm asking you, be mindful, be kind, less expectations, then you can enjoy this holiday time. I hope you have some thoughts to consider this holiday season. And uh, okay, announcements. Mm-hmm. And also supporting to the temple. And <laughs> For our day retreat here at the temple, there will also be free lunch. It's also gluten free, I should say. You may be eating lunch with me provided meditation, dhamma, lots of love, and um, a wonderful Sunday. Now we have 35 people, I think. 35? Yeah, yeah, something. So it's still it's open. To so we still have
then just two more things. Bonte is going to be doing his Sri Lankan spiritual journey mm -hmm. next June 2022. So we're starting to get those deposits down. Here. Yeah, can I say something about it? So because last two years I couldn't do a Sri Lanka tour with people because of the COVID, uh, but this year going crazy, you know, for the next year, people keep calling and <clears throat> now first trip already full. And so now I'm planning to do the second trip. <laughs> so anybody interested to go, because I don't take more than nine people in one group, because I have to handle everybody 14 days. Uh, so therefore it's lots of work and arrangement. And so if you are interested to go, please contact me or Tessa. Then we contact with the Michael in Sri Lanka and he will arrange everything for you. Perfect. Yeah. And then finally, the New Year blessing is quickly approaching December 11th. We've got our monks coming in from all over the country. If you wish to sponsor a new monk um, to help with their travel to countries, you can do so on the table in the social hall. Yeah. Um, that's it, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, everybody. Anybody new today? New people? Please introduce yourself. You did it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Anybody new? Anybody new? Oh, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. This is your home. <laughs> thank you. Anybody? Okay, thank you so much, everybody. Please stand up. <clears throat>